what is up everybody epitome here and as you guys might be able to tell i am sick still but i wanted to bring you guys some obs settings so now when i was trying to find my best obs settings for csgo and trying to find um just so i could get good frames because i was struggling when it came to frame rate and everything and not having the best quality videos so i wanted to make good quality videos still have a good enough frame rate so i can record full games and for the longest time, I could not find a decent video on NVIDIA settings when it comes to, you know, your encoding profile on OBS. So, I thought I'd make a video for you guys, and so there would actually be a good video up on YouTube. And so, first things first, instead of using uh, times 264 we are using NVIDIA, and that is using the graphics card. So, if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use this. Um, there's some you can use quick sync um, if you I believe it's like through Intel and it's through uh, Something else. I don't know. I could be wrong though, but pretty sure that's through Intel I am running AMD and um, With an Nvidia graphics card, so I am able to use this Nvidia option and You definitely want use CBR checked you want enable CBR padding checked now when it comes to your bitrate This is different. So this is for solely recording not for streaming for streaming You want a 3500 bitrate and you do want to use the times 264 I have not tried streaming I don't know anybody that streams using this Nvidia setting and I don't know if you can so for the bitrate though you want anywhere from 4500 to 9000 now I checked this out because I looked on YouTube and I wanted to see their settings and what they suggest for a 1080p 60 FPS video and they suggest anywhere from 4500 to 9000 so I picked 6000 since it was in the middle and the file sizes are not that big now with this Nvidia setting you can go up to like a 30,000 bitrate I recorded a video a whole game at a 50,000 bitrate and don't do that because because, I mean, I had like a 10 gigabyte video, it was stupid. I had like a 10 gigabyte video, and then I had to render it with the worst bit rate ever, so the quality just got off like, it just, just don't do it, okay? Anywhere from 4,500 to 9,000, all right? That's my suggestion. Now, we're just gonna go straight to advanced, everything else, I mean, video 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS, all that jazz. Now, this is where the other settings are that have been changed, so, with uh, general, I do not touch anything on general. That's all by itself. Uh, the only other thing that I change is this was on automatic, like so, and I changed it to high quality. And then I changed the encoding profile. It was already on high, but some people uh, starts on main, so you want to change that to high. And then your keyframe interval, you want to, that to be at two. And then you don't want you CFR checked. And that's it. That's all the settings you need to know. That's that's literally it. That's to get good FPS, good quality videos, and be able to record full matches and everything like that. So that's all the settings I changed. If you guys want to see a video so you can see the quality after rendering it and after uploading it to YouTube, I will go ahead and put an annotation on the screen right now to a video that I used all of this in. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope it helped some of you guys out. I wasn't able to find a good video uh, explaining any of this and showing some good settings. I just had to wing it and I learned from trial and error and so I wanted to help you guys out But I hope it helped some of you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Epithemy and I'll catch you guys next time Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave a like if you always want to see more Definitely be sure to subscribe make sure you check out the links that I have down in the description If you guys always want constant updates like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Epithemy and I'll catch you guys next time